Welcome to the shooting show. This week, Essex gamekeeper Jeff Garrett's out Faladay is stalking with a Save the Rhino supporter. Plus, we bring you all the latest news from the shooting world. Right, here we are today, um, we've got Terry here, come down, who's very generously um, put a bid in for Save the Rhino auction to uh, take the fallow coal uh, with me today. And uh, you know, it's a pleasure to welcome yep. you here. Um, to be here with yep. you, Jeff. Yep. Um, we just, uh, we've got the uh, Brown Next Bolt 243 rifle. Um, it's an estate rifle. Um, which we'll uh, sort out when we get into the hive, which, which hill we're using. What we're going to do, we're just going to shoot off, have a little bit of a ride round, suss out the wind position, and then hopefully we'll uh, we'll get the um, you know the best hide, best high seat. Uh, see if we can see a few deer, give us a bit of a point and where to go, and then uh, we'll make a decision when we sort of like get there. So yeah, it could be this one, could be that one, but it's all depending on what we see when we get up there. Right. Yep. Lovely. Happy with that? Yep. Good. With quite a few does and prickets still to take towards filling the cull plan, Jeff should be able to get Terry into a hot seat and at least see some deer. And we're off. Oh. On a bordering estate, the fallow have bunched up due to the disturbance of some active game shooting. And behind a narrow strip of woodland, yeah. a tempting group of fallow yeah, influenced like Jeff's decision to sneak Terry into a low seat a few hundred yards away. See, right go to the corner of the wood, yeah. it's in about probably ten yards in the wood. If yeah. you just go follow this line straight into the wood, yeah. you can't fail to see it. But rather than me come in there with yeah. you and then yeah. walk yeah. out yeah. again, just yeah, if you just go in there to the high seat, and then when we finish tonight, I'll pick you up from the high seat. Yeah. All right? Okay. All right, mate, good luck. Stalking on new ground is always a challenge, but despite a few cracked twigs, all should settle back down in 20 to 30 minutes. Jeff's stalking policy is clear. Only shoot from the high seat and no rifles loaded until safely inside. Terry sits patiently, glass in the trees in front and soon spots movement. The tree line won't allow Terry a shot just yet, so he bides his time. Yeah. 
Sure enough, a fellow ventures into the open. Terry marks the spot where his deer has fallen after a successful shot. Straight through there. Yeah? Good man. Well done, Thank mate. You. Well done, mate. I've got blood on my new coat. I should have to wear. leave it. Look. <laughs> it ended up coming to me. Yeah. A short ride to the larder, a quick grelic, and it's time to wrap up. Right, well that's a, uh, another auction lot finished, dare I say. Um, another successful Save the Rhino auction, Terry. Um, yeah. You know, obviously you've been successful here. This is, this is uh, an early this year's um, fawn, but uh, you know, a nice size. And uh, I can assure you that this one will not be wasted because most of this will be going into my freezer. Um, so, uh, you know, hopefully you've enjoyed it. Yeah, very and, much, um, very much. You know, uh, I understand that that you actually see quite a few more, but they're just perhaps a little bit yeah, shy. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Well, we saw quite a lot uh, opposite the high seat where we were situated, in, in and out of the trees. Yeah. But nothing really presented itself to a clear shot. Right. Until this youngster came along. Yeah. And then it just fortunately came through into the open. So I could take the shot, yeah. although I'm not 100% sure it fully came on the camera because, we're, because of the angle of the trees, yeah. uh, uh, it was fine for me. Well, but, well listen, uh, uh, to be uh, perfectly uh, honest with uh, that, that's all that matters uh, because you're the man uh, with the with the browning under your yeah, arm yeah, yeah. and you're the one pulling the trigger yeah. so long as everything was comfortable for you yeah. and you know, hopefully you know, the cameraman's got the before all, and afterwards yeah, yes. which is all yeah. that matters really. But the, the bottom line of it is, is from a from a stalking point of view, from my point of view, you've had a shot. Yeah. This thing is in here. We yeah. haven't got to go stumbling off through the wood looking no, for it. No. So for me, that's a successful evening. Yes. It's been a pleasure seeing you here, yeah. Terry. And I'm sure I can speak on behalf of uh, Save the Rhino funds that uh, you know we thank people like yourself that bid for these lots, and all the money goes to a very very worthy cause. So I just like to say. Thank you very much, thank, thank, and well thank done. And thank you for allowing me to come to your estate. No problem at all. Well done. My pleasure. Thank you. Terry tasting success from the high seat there. And now, it's the Shooting Show news. This is the Shooting Show News. The risk of bird flu has risen again, with keepers now urged to keep captive birds housed indoors where they can't come into contact with wild birds. This means poultry keepers now need to house their flocks separately from game birds at all times. The government has put this requirement in place until the 6th of January. No cases of bird flu have been found yet in the UK, but keepers are urged to be vigilant. Find out more details in iShoot magazine out next week. Shooting's getting a big funding boost for the next four years. UK Sports says it will increase Shooting's lottery funding to £7 million for the Tokyo 2020 Olympic cycle. That's nearly double the previous figure. Team GB secured two medals at the Olympics this year, thanks to Steve Scott and Ed Ling. For all your Olympic shooting news and reports, don't miss Clay Shooting magazine. More women than ever are getting active, and that includes shooting. 
A Sport England survey revealed that the number of active women in the UK has risen by a quarter of a million, and Basque noted that shooting is part of that increase. The number of women joining has increased by a third over the last four years. More than 1,600 joined last year. Basque councillor Anne Mortimer noted that the greater the number of women members, the greater the availability of female talent and influence within the sport. It's been another record-breaking month for interest in firearms. Basque's firearms hotline received more than 1,000 calls for the first time ever in November. As always, delays in processing licences or renewals were the most common topic. Basque's senior firearms officer Mike Evely said the licensing service was very patchy at best across the country, with some forces starved of resources. And finally, the fortunes of red grouse in Ireland could have turned a corner. The Irish Red Grouse Association has reported local population increases of 15 to 20 per cent since 2010. Increases have also been recorded for moorland waders, including curlew, golden plover, and lapwing, as well as the Irish mountain hare. To date, the association has established 40 red grouse projects across Ireland, with more on the way. That was the Shooting Show News. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you're not a member of Basque, it's time to join now. Basque, looking after your sport, looking after you. This has been The Shooting Show. <laughs>